In this tutorial, you will learn how to color correct a raw photo using Adobe Photoshop. First thing that you're going to need to do is go to Layer, then down to New Adjustment Layer, and you're going to choose Curves. If you'd like to name that layer, you can um, go ahead and name it. I'm going to call this my Adjustment Layer, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. All right, so now you'll notice that you're going to get a curves adjustment menu open. First thing we want to do on here is go ahead and set color values for black, gray, and white. So I'm going to double click on the black eyedropper, and I want to make sure the RGB colors, the red, green, and blue, um, are all set to 20 for black. So right now that's my default, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK double click on the gray eyedropper and for gray we're looking for 128 for the red green and blue eyedroppers and for white we're looking for 240 so those are my default values they may or may not be yours but you always want to double check all right so next thing I want to do I'm going to click on my black eyedropper and what I'm looking to do here is find a part of the photo that is supposed to be black and so I'm looking for like a you know, specific pixel or something that should be black in the photo. And I know the buttons on this shirt are black, so I'm going to zoom into those and I'm going to pick the part that is supposed to be black. So I'm going to go for the darkest black that I can find and click. Then I'm going to go to the white eyedropper and I'm going to zoom out. And the next thing I want to do is find a part of the photo that I know is supposed to be white. And if I remember correctly, this fence is white. So I'm going to go to a bright white part of the fence, choose the wide eyedropper, and click. And the next thing you want to do is choose a gray color. Um, this, needs, this can be a neutral gray, either like a darker or a lighter color, but it definitely needs to be something that's gray. So I'm going to use my hand tool and scooch around to the gray part right here on the shirt. I'm going to go ahead and zoom into that. Make sure I have my gray eyedropper selected here. I'll let me zoom in a little bit first. All right, so this stripe right here looks like a nice uh, neutral gray color. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my gray eyedropper and click. And I don't like the way that looks, so I'm going to hit Control Z and try one of these darker gray colors over here because they're not quite black. Perfect. All right, now I want to zoom out. You can see my entire photo, and that looks great. It's exactly what I wanted for my color correction. Now, if you want to see the before and after here, you can open up your layers menu by going to Window Layers. And if you turn off that eyeball right next to your adjustment layer, you can see what it looked like before and after your color correction.